Hello, before we begin, since the last video was released we have had a new version of VirtualBox come out. I suggest you go get it and I suggest you also update your VirtualBox extension spec. Till now we got away with not configuring the network at all. But we are about to start turning the guest system into a server and due to some technical limitations in the VirtualBox NAT implementation caused by security restrictions in the Unix-like systems NAT is no longer sufficient for the purposes of this tutorial. Currently to access the system we have set up a port forwarding rule that redirects all packets incoming to the host system on port 11022 to the guest system. And that allows us to use SSH if we had attempted to use the default SSH port 22 it wouldn't have worked. Although you should remember never to use the default port for something as critical as SSH so for SSH NAT is fine and dandy as it is for all other services that can use any port we want. HTTP on the other hand by default uses port 80. We can forward to anything else above 1024, but this is going to get really ugly, really fast once we get to Samba later in this tutorial. To avoid the potential problems we are going to switch to the bridged networking mode, but we are not going to stop using NAT. In order to do that we want to have the machine turned off. Now we want to add another network interface card to the virtual system. Enter VBox Manage, Modify VM, Open SUS, NIC2, Bridged. If it doesn't display an error, enter VBox Manage, Show VM Info, Open SUS, Pipe, Grep, NIC. We can see both NIC1 and 2 are configured. We can see the adapter's MAC addresses, which is useful if you decide to make a static IP binding in the DHCP settings of your router and that the virtual cable is connected. In my case I am using ethash0 but if you are using ethash1 or anything else change it to what you are using enter vbox manage modify vm open SUS, bridge adapter 2 ethash 1 or at hash 2 or whatever you have. If you are using Linux write if config to see which adapter has your IP addresses. That is the adapter you should use for the bridge. If we look again at the show VM info output we can see it has changed. Let's start the system and see what's the what. Vbox manage start VM open SUS type headless since we left the first NIC as NAT, we can still use SSH username at localhost minus P11022. Once we log in, we sue into the red prompt and we write if config A. At hash zero is what it was before. We have a new adapter, but it isn't configured. Enter YAST. Go to network devices. Network settings. On the overview screen, select the not configured adapter and then Control I for edit. You can change any settings from here. In my network, I want to get addresses through DHCP and I don't need IP version 6, so yeah. Switch to the general screen. I am going to leave it to activate at boot time and I will leave it in the automatically assigned firewall zone. If you have something else in mind, you should think about the settings you enter here. When you are done, go to next. Since we are here, we should think about the host name. Go to the hostname DNS screen. I will change mine to Visus. And remember, I did that. OK to accept the settings. Now write if config to see the result. And we are done. If you like this video 
and you're not too busy, why not rate, share or subscribe? If you don't like it, constructive criticism is always welcome in the comment section.